I've been reflecting a lot recently on my flaws and my limitations as a human being. And one of them is my OCD. OCD stands for Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. The World Health Organization has stated that it's one of the top 10 most dis disabling illnesses in the world. Now, in my personal case, I've had it diagnosed by a psychiatrist. Now, I would recommend, please do, please, if you have mental health issues or physical issues, to seek the help of a professional. I know in some cases, literally, the health issue can stop you getting the help you need. Um, so, for example, my agoraphobia might stop me going to a doctor. But you can pick up a phone, you can email, you can do whatever you need to do. You can ask a loved one to help you seek the help you need. Now, moving on to the actual issue at hand in my case, the OCD makes me seem like a broken record to my friends. I will talk about the same things over and over again. I will want things done in a certain way, in a certain order. If it's not, I go, ah, you know, I go crazy. And one thing that I try and do to cope with my OCD is I try and redirect the energy. So for example, a lot of games these days have got a lot of crafting and especially gathering. Gathering in video games is really therapeutic to someone like me. So right now I'm playing Horizon Forbidden West, which came out on Friday, and I am picking up absolutely everything. So it helps you in the game to do that, to be overprepared in case you need materials. But it also gives me a level of calm and satisfaction that I can't explain. So I need to pick up everything. It's not just a case of like I want to, it's like I feel like almost I need to which is part of the illness. And also as well, I think it's really important as a person that I keep having these sort of honest conversations with myself about what are my flaws and what am I doing to address them. There's no cure for OCD. There's no cure for agoraphobia. There's no cure for most mental issues. It's about how you cope with them. It's about how you redirect the energy. It's about how you recognize the issue to begin with. So I think self-recognition is also a really good thing. Now, of course, I am not a doctor. I am not a healthcare specialist. So please go to a healthcare specialist if you need one again. I will reiterate. <laughs> um, please do, please. So generally as well, I try not to allow the OCD to slow me down too much. I try not to, but it makes me terrified of certain things. So for example, I don't often talk about relationships on my channels. You might have noticed, I don't talk about girlfriends or anything like that in my life. And the reason why is because I had an ex-girlfriend. You know, we met almost 11 years ago. We broke up nearly a decade ago, but because of my OCD, it's still fresh in my head, what went on between me and her. And generally, it makes me terrified of ever getting into a relationship again because of the amount of damage it did to me at the time, like 10 years ago, and the fact that because of my OCD, it's kept it fresh for the last decade. So generally, um, my OCD is annoying, <laughs> but it is manageable, thankfully, in my case. And while it can lead to a lot of sort of horrible thoughts and so on, I try and overwhelm that with the positivity. So for example, I'm always reflecting on the fact that I don't have to commute anywhere anymore. I don't have to take the train to London, which caused me a huge amount of stress. I don't have to report to anyone. And the good thing about content creation online, if any negativity comes along from viewers or unfortunately other content creators, I can block, ban and delete. And they're gone from my life completely which is really good for my OCD. So um, generally, I try to just stay focused on what I'm doing. And that's why, in my case, I can have six YouTube channels. I would say it's not realistic for an average person probably to do that. I would say if you want to be a content creator, focus on one. But because of my OCD, I've got so much energy um, that would otherwise be directed at negativity that I need to direct on something constructive, which is why I've got so many channels, because it keeps me focused. And that's why, for example, if anyone's been watching my Final Fantasy XIV content, I've now got nearly 1,600 videos about the game because I've been recording nearly everything <laughs> in the game. 
So generally, I try to stay positive. I do try my best. Sometimes I do get overwhelmed with the negativity, the negative thoughts and so on. And I know full well that I am a, like a broken record. I know that. I probably said that twice in this video. So generally, I would say that my period of self-reflection is really important. I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. And it's just going to keep me focused. So for example, the thought in my head right now is I want to get the Platinum Trophy for Horizon Forbidden West. That's it. That is what I'm trying to focus all of my energy on is achieving that. So thank you to everyone who's been coming to my live streams. If you've missed them, then you can head over to my Let's Play channel and check out the VODs. I do upload them to my Let's Play channel.